Hey, how's it going guys? It's Kosh and welcome to another Quality Ghost video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gold AK-12. We're going to take a look at the best class of the weapon and also how you guys can get this weapon in gold very, very quickly and very, very easily. Now, the best class of this weapon is actually the one that's well built, mainly because the AK-12 is an amazing weapon. It's very, very powerful and very, very good at range. And I've got the perfect class of that's good for playing and also good to get this weapon in gold. Now a lot of people have been saying I talk too fast in my videos, so I'm going to try and take that down a notch in this video, and I really appreciate some feedback in the comment section below. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like rating, and if you're new to my channel, why don't hit that subscribe button for more Quality to Girls videos, but without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, so let's begin with the best class up for the weapon, and this is actually the class up that works very very well to get the weapon in gold. But also if you're just trying to play with the gun, this is actually a class up that works well as well. So in the AK-12 we have Suppressor and Extended Mags, our perks are Ready Up, Slight of Hand, Stalker, On The Go, Scavenger and ICU. Now the perks are actually what make this class up work well, and also the attachment Suppressor makes it work well as well, everything else doesn't really matter, but we'll get into that in a minute. So starting with the perks, the perks that actually mean a lot for this class up are Ready Up, Slight of Hand, Stalker, On The Go and ICU. Now I used to play with this class up with that scavenger on and it still worked fine but it just meant I had to pick up a lot of different weapons on the floor while trying to go for streaks and that isn't very very helpful when you're trying to get gold camo so I really would advise you guys to put scavenger on there. Now if you guys want to find out what all these different perks do go check out my last gold gun video there will be an annotation on the screen right now and also a link in the description box below for you guys to go find that out but other than that those perks are very, very important and they're kind of similar to all the other perks I use in different class ups as well. But the one perk that means a lot is a stalker perk. Now stalker perk allows you to aim down sight and also move left to right or move up and down very very easily and allows you to win a load more gunfights. Now when you're trying to go for the camo which means you have to get 150 kills with no attachment, this actually comes very very handy so you guys I do advise you to have stalker on your class up. Moving on to the attachments, the attachment that actually means a lot to this class up is the suppressor. Now you guys don't really need extended clip on there. But I put it on because I wanted to have a bit more ammo in the gun when I'm trying to go for gameplays and when I'm trying to go for long kill streaks, mainly because it allows me to you know to win those desperate gunfights. But if you guys don't want to extend the clip, that that is fine as well. But suppressor is very very important. A suppressor allows you to show off for the enemy's radar and also has a lot of effect on the gun that allows you to win more gunfights. And to be honest, I don't know why I have suppressor there, but it just works as a great attachment on there. All right, that's enough about the best class up for the weapon. If you guys have any more questions, just put it in the comment section below and I'll be very very happy to help you out. Now let's move on to some tips and tricks to get this weapon in gold. Now in my last gold gun video, I focused on tips and tricks on how you guys can get long shots and also lean kills and it seemed to help a lot of people out. But a lot of people still commented saying they had trouble completing other challenges such as the sliding kills and also the rescue kills. So in this video, I'm going to focus on those two tips and tricks and if you guys have any other questions, you can put in the comments below and I'll get to them in the next video as well. So starting on the rescue kills, there are not many tips I can actually give you guys on this, but the one tip that works very, very well for me is playing in groups. So I tend to play in a group of people, probably a group of subscribers or a group of friends, and what you guys need to do is try and move in groups of threes or four while playing the game. And this means that when you're moving in groups of three and four, you will definitely encounter an enemy, and when the enemy shoots one of your teammates, you wanna be able to pick up that enemy very, very quickly and get that kill. Now you only need 20 rescue kills if I'm correct and it should have been too hard to do, I did it in about 2 or 3 games so if you guys move in groups of players or even if you're not playing with your friends just try and stick next to a teammate all, all times and try and pick up those kills very very easily, try and rescue your teammate as quickly as possible because if your teammate dies or gets too damaged you probably won't pick up that rescue kill, you guys need to kill the enemy before your teammate dies and it's the only way you can get the rescue kill. Moving on to the slide kills, these are ones that are a bit difficult to do, even though you don't need to get a lot, the only reason it's difficult is because of the fact that sometimes the game doesn't read the slide kill. Now the thing you guys want to do is be able to slide round corners and it's the only way I actually got my slide kills very very easily. I actually completed all my slide kills without even noticing, mainly because I tried to slide around the corner a lot of times. So you guys want to do is when you see a corner, where you see an edge, you want to slide round it and there's always a chance there's an enemy there. Now for a slide kill to count, you have to kill an enemy between 3 to 5 seconds after you've slid and it's the only way you can count as a slide kill. The best thing for you guys to do is try and slide everywhere, 
if you see an AFK player, try and slide and then kill him. If you see a player in the distance, try and slide and then kill him. If you see a player with their back turned, try and slide and then kill him as well. And you probably have a higher chance of getting those slide kills. Well, so there you have it guys. That is actually the best class out for this weapon. And also all the tips and tricks I have for you guys to get this gun in gold. Now, if you have alternative class out because you have the gun in gold already, put it in the comment section below and I'm very happy to take a look at that as well. Also, if you have any alternative questions or any questions at all about any challenges to get this gun in gold, let me know and I'll try and answer as many as possible. But if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to drop a like rating. If you do find it helpful, remember to leave a comment and also subscribe for more quality ghost videos. And also comment and rate how I'm talking in this video. I want to check the speed of my commentary. It will be very, very helpful as well. But anyways, that's it for me and I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.